Now to a CBS News exclusive. Drew Peterson, who is a suspect in the disappearance of his fourth wife, is alone again. His engagement to Christina Raines ended just days ago, and the early show was there exclusively when her father made a desperate attempt to get his daughter's belongings back from the home that they once shared. I'm going over to Drew's house with my daughter. She called me last night, and she asked me if I could come over to Drew's and help her get her and her stuff out of, out of his house. As Ernie Rains approaches, Drew Peterson is barely visible behind the front door. Hey, Drew. Yeah, come to get my daughter's stuff. Her dad. No, I want to do it now. I want, no, I want her stuff out now, Drew. Don't play games, okay? You're fooling with the wrong guy. Don't play games, Drew. Christina watches from the car. I want her stuff out of here. I bring the police. I'm calling 911. Dad! Oh my God, Dad! And when his daughter's possessions are not immediately surrendered, Ernie Rains calls the police. I'm over by Drew Peterson's house. I said, I'm calling 911. And then they, then they came out. And then uh, he had to give it. I wasn't going to leave until I got her stuff out because he just fooled with the wrong guy. Joining us are Christina and Ernie Rains, along with CBS News legal analyst Lisa Bloom. Good morning to you all. Mm -hmm. Christina, let me begin with you. Can you walk us through your relationship with Drew Peterson? When did you meet him and how did you meet him? I had met him at a bar. Um, but before that, I have known Drew Peterson ever since I was like 15. So did you know his wife Stacy as well then? Yes. Okay, and how did this relationship with Drew get to the point where you were engaged to him? It started out as a friendship. I imagine it's very difficult. Um, I can, uh, I can add a little bit to that. Uh, we moved to Bolingbrook when we were little. You know, uh, Drew Peterson was a, uh, was a policeman, a sergeant at the time, and uh, he helped me a lot, and I trusted him. And then all of a sudden, um, later on, I, I got word that, uh, that he was trying to date my daughter. That he was trying to date your daughter? Yeah. At what point, after Stacy had been yeah, reported missing? Yeah, after Stacy disappeared, and uh, six months ago, I believe it was, my daughter works at a restaurant, and then... Uh, he was going in there and then going where she was hanging out at and just kept pursuing her. And how did you react to this? I wasn't happy. I said she knew how I was, how I felt about it. So what I, what I tried to do, I, I called the state police. They says that it's an ongoing investigation. There's nothing you can do. I, I called Bolingbrook. I sent a police car over to their house to do a track number, which is uh, where I got the, the uh, officer's name badge number and report number. Next day, another officer called me, fouled up on it, and said, I wish you luck, you mm. know, but there's really nothing we can do. Christina, let me ask you this. Okay, obviously your father wasn't happy finding out about you two dating. How would you describe Drew as a person? Was he kind to you? Yes, he was very kind to me. Was he ever violent towards you? No, not at all. How was he as a father to his children? He was a great father, and he was really good to my kids. Did, you ever, did he ever talk to you about Stacy after she went missing? I don't feel comfortable you, answering you, that right now. You don't want to discuss it. What, um, you said you knew Stacy also. Do you think he had anything to do with her disappearing? I really don't feel comfortable answering that at all right now. Do you think he had anything to do with the mysterious death of his third wife? I don't want to answer any of those questions right now. What do you want the public to know about you or about Drew Peterson? Well, that like I'm a good person and I have a good heart and instead of following with my head, I followed with my heart. 
And... Do you love him? I don't love him. Did you love him? I thought I did. How did you become engaged to him? When did you become engaged to him? It was never an engagement. What was really. it then? It was more like a stunt. A stunt? Yes. On whose part? On Drew, so he could be in the media. Did you know it was a stunt when... Well, he had told me that his lawyer had wanted him to be in the media and wanted to propose to someone at a restaurant. And then what happened? So he well, said to you, we're friends, we're dating, you want to be part of this stunt? Is that how it went down? That's oh. how it went down, but I would not go with it. I would not go along with it. What would you say to him? I told him no, and he had said, well, if it comes out that I'm engaged to someone, it's not really true. So you were never engaged to him, is that what you're saying? No, I was never engaged to him. But he was putting it out there that he was engaged? That he was engaged. To you? He had, he had told me that he never said it was me. He never said that he was engaged to me. Okay. But I have heard that, like, off camera, he had told, <clears throat> um, I think his producer, her publicist, that it was me. Okay. Uh, let me ask you this. But you did live with him, correct? I did live with him. What was the breaking point? Why did you break up with him? <sighs> All it was was I um, moved in with him. And the reason why I left, I had uh, went on a Monday to collect some of my items from my apartment. From your apartment that you shared with him or your own apartment? My own apartment that I shared with my ex-boyfriend, Mike. Okay. And he had sat me down. Who sat you down? Mike. Okay. And he was telling me, you know, this is not right. He's not a good guy. Just kind of opened up my eyes and a lot of things made sense. And he guided me from Monday through Thursday. And Thursday is when Mike had asked me to move back in with, with him. With him. Lisa, let me bring you in. From a legal standpoint, let's say, just say Drew Peterson does propose to someone, anyone. Mm -hmm. Can he even legally get married to a woman right now? Because isn't he still considered married, even though his last wife is nowhere to yeah. be found? You really put your finger on it. He can get engaged, but legally he cannot get married. He is still legally married to Stacey Peterson, who is missing, been missing for over a year. And her clothes are still in that house. Right, Chrissy? I mean, they're still in the closets. She's still a, a presence in that house. Uh, in the final seconds, Lisa, what do you make of all this? If you were advising Drew Peterson, if you were his attorney, what would you say? <laughs> well, I wouldn't be advising Drew Peterson. <laughs> I think he's getting bad advice, and I've been very happy to be advising Ernest. And he, I want to give hats off to Ernest for being the dad in this situation, for staying yeah. close to his daughter, uh, for being there for his daughter, and for helping her to get out of this bad situation. It really is a success story. We don't see a lot of these. Lisa Bloom, Ernie, Christina. Thank you for all coming uh, on. I, I just I got one comment to make. Um, Johnny Cash came out with a song that Chris Christopherson wrote, but Johnny Cash sang it. And? And it was called Beat the Devil. And that's what we did. We beat the devil. Ernie, <laughs> we thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> and I'm going to holler out to Phil, Dr. Phil. I want to thank him so much. All right. And I want to thank her. Thank you. Because it wasn't for them. Mike? Yeah, I And agree. Mike. All right. <laughs> That's we off. gotta go, Ernie. Thank you so much. We're glad, you're we're, Christina. We're glad that your dad is happy and that you feel oh, that happy. you're safe. I'm okay. happy.